Good afternoon. How are we? Hope you're going well. So today we're going to perform a toning based workout. Take our arm down. Really nice, quick one. So probably no longer than 15 minutes. Is that? But we're going to get those muscles burn. Get that lactic acid flowing. Reach, squeeze. Reach out wide. Up high. Last one. Bring your feet in slightly and rotate. Okay, guys, we're going to get cracky. Just, let's just do a couple of yield butts first. Four. Other way, knees up. Okay, we're going to begin with a bird dog. We're going to come down, knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders. We're going to, if you've got a band, a resistance band, it's probably a great idea to put that around the knees. So we're going to reach, and then we're going to take the arm and the leg out and hold. Try not to let the arm and leg drop. Squeeze the glute, keep the shoulders switched on. Two, bring it in, switching side, same thing, out, then I'm taking my arm to the side and my leg out to the side. Make sure that arm's comfortable on the ground, don't try not to let the hip drop. Come on, stretch it out as far as you can. Three, two, one, back to the centre, squeeze it in. Pull it back, child pose, let's slow the breathing down here. Okay. Up to standing, guys. Next we have a sumo squat, so wide squat position. I'm going to bend it to the side. Now, if you can't put your hands behind your head, you're not going to get as much of a bend, but you could still tip at the waist. When you're thinking about going sideways. Centre, the side. And excellent. Now I'll show you from this angle here. Got three legs. I'll go towards the knee. You're using that weight, you want to keep the core tight. Last one. Well done. Okay, coming up, quick rotation. Next, you want to use some small dumbbells, feel free to grab some. So we're going to perform a lunge with a punch. So we're going to drop down, come up to a punch. The opposite leg is punching, opposite leg is up. Now we're going to do three punches. Three, two, one. One lunge. See how I'm punching full extension of that arm? One, two, 
Go body weight if needed. Punch it all the way out. Squeeze it all the way back. Excellent. Same exercise, opposite side. So right, left leg, sorry. Right arm, one punch first. Roll it out, roll it in. Three punches. So I'm rotating my knuckles out in front. Keep it controlled. Two left. Nice and deep into that lunge. Last one. Now then, weight down. We have a quick rotation, full body. This time, we're going to try to squat with a concentration curl. So your option, if you find this one too much, you can simply hold the squat and perform a hammer curl instead. Squeeze up and down. Otherwise, coming with me, we're going to lock the elbows into the knees and we're going to squeeze up. Whoops! <laughs> Goodness, I can't believe I just did that. Don't go so low that you are going to fall over like I just did. Squeeze it up. You can drop to one dumbbell if you like. So it's sitting really low into that squat. Take a breath. We're going to do one more round. Let's need to have a rest. So take it down to one dumbbell if two is too many for you. It felt like two was a bit much for me, sitting that low into the squat. So let's just, so you can, if you feel like you can go two, go for it. Or remember, your alternative is holding that squat. Hammer curl. Okay. Time starts now. Let's go. Eight. Come on. Three. Nice and tall. We'll be four. Probably go fairly light with this one. So I'm going to come around to a curtsy lunge. Tap to the centre. Side leg raise. Side arm raise. When I do that side arm raise, I have a slight bend in my elbows and I'm only coming up to here. So from this angle, using the side of that shoulder. Around, tap, squeeze it up. Around. Right 
Now, I can probably go a little heavier. Three kilos is probably ideal. Four that I have there is probably just a little bit much for a side brace. That's why I'm working the side of our shoulder. That little side gout. Two left. Awesome. Lucky last. Great job. Okay, I'm going to try the floor with my good side. This side, um, I have a dodgy shoulder. Okay. Round we go. Curtsy. Tap. Swing. Oh, goodness me. It's amazing the difference a couple of kilos makes. I'm going to go down. Make sure you go down if you ever feel like you're struggling with form. Just bring that dumbbell up to shoulder height, two left. Work. Last rep here. Excellent. Coming down next, we have a slight leg raise. So I left my bands in the car. It is ideal if you have a band around the top of the knee. So that bottom leg is bent, top leg is flexed. Um, let's push our heel up to the ceiling. So we're actually kind of activating a bit more on the top of the hip there. Hip up to the ceiling. Let's go. You should have a straight line from your shoulders to your hip. And the feet, ankles should be pretty much in line with the hips too. Heels up to the ceiling. Ten left. Come on, breathe. Let's set foot. Great work. Two, one. Excellent. Over we go. Pull that twelve pose. Same leg, all fours. We're going to come out to a hydrant, up to a donkey kick. Out to the side, squeeze it up. And I shall just close on each side. So, Please add that band if you want to challenge yourself. I would have mine on if it was right here. I've already pressed start and my bag forgot to grab it. But funnily enough, I still feel this move, the movement without it. I just imagine how much harder that would be if you were using a band too. Two more. Excellent, hold it. Leg it, time to switch sides. Okay, so I want to keep this fairly, fairly quick, so we're going to be done soon, guys. So, bend that bottom leg, straight lines, shoulders to hips, heel up to the ceiling, flex that foot. We've got 25 here. Heel up to the ceiling. So my heel is pushing first. Come on, breathe through it. Now it starts to burn pretty quick. Nearly there. Five. 
great. Ah, excellent. Okay, hydrant, donkey kick. Let's go. Out to the side, squeeze it up. Try not to let those hips open up too much. We'll show you from here. Do the donkey kick. Just take that knee out, squeeze up. We don't want it to come up like that and open up the hips. Out, up. Excellent. Pull back, pull back. Okay. Last couple of exercises. We're going to try an 80 20 squat. So, what that is, is we have our left leg in the normal position for a squat. Our back leg is behind our left leg. We're going to come up on the toe and we're going to just try and sit into this leg as if we're just doing a normal squat. So this leg's more for balance. Ooh, just lost. Show you from here. Normal position for the left leg. Up on the toe for the balancing leg. This is called the 80, oops, 20 squat. So you're gonna feel this mainly in the supporting the left leg, the squatting leg. Come on, great. Oh, shake it, that's killer. Okay, we're nearly done. Gotta to want to keep this a short, sweet, sharp session, something you can do if it's short on time. This time, our right leg is in that normal squat position. Left leg back up on the toes. Let's go. Trying to keep that body square and centered. You might need to maneuver your feet around slightly. And most of the weights in here, this leg's just for balance. Excellent. Five more. Come on. You can do it. Oh. Two. Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay, guys. We're going to finish with a quick yoga flow. Let's come into a plank, knees or feet. Hold. Excellent. Okay, squeeze five seconds as tight as you can. Think about all those muscles you're trying to activate. Pull back into a high. Pull down dog. Hold it. Getting those heels just as close to the ground as you can. Excellent. Let's come to the, we're going to chatter over to the ground from the knees or the feet. Lower yourself down. Push the tops of the feet into the ground. So either an easy cobra from the base of the spine or an upward, don't do the upward dog if you are not used to it. Back to a downward dog. Hold. Hips up high, head between the arms. Pushing those, let's go, let's walk the dog this time. Last one. Three. Excellent. Five. Okay, final plank. Chaturanga, down dog, then we're going to go to a child's pose. 
Lower yourself down. Either upward, press those feet, pop some feet into the mat. From the lower back, upward facing dog, oh, sorry, easy cobra. Or upward facing dog. And now we're just going to pull into our final fight for five. Go on down dog. And coming down, take it to a child's pose. Brilliant. That's our short, sharp honing session. Great if you're short on time. Excellent. Let's come up. Just come up however you can. Open up that chest. Lift the chin. Take those shoulders back and back. Remember, let's round, reverse that one, round the upper back top chin. If you want to start for motivation, start with that five minutes. If you don't do any more than five, it does not matter unless you've got that extra five minutes in for your day. Drop the shoulders, roll it out. Quick hamstring stretch, straight legs, fold me up. So you don't want to round that upper back. Stay here. Excellent. Five seconds. So you're going to bend the knee, roll up, brace the core, bend, brace, quick roll each way. We're going to stretch our quads. They just did a little bit of work there. Read the back. We did get a nice glute stretch in that child's pose. So if you need extra stretching in the hips, make sure you do that when, we, when you've um, finished this video. And stretch, other side. Heel in, knee forward. Proud of you if you made it to here. Brilliant work. Release. Let's take it to our rotation. Four, two, one. And you are brilliant. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're up to. Have a good one and see you soon.